Hi, I am back and I'm going to be showing you how to loosen your trigger pull on your Emac and I think the Ether. I, I think the Ether. So, if you if you're shooting slow, that heavy trigger pull, and you don't really like that, I, I'm gonna today. I'm gonna show you how to make that trigger pull a lot lighter, and I mean a lot lighter. You can't shoot fast like that unless you have really strong hands. I can't. Neither can my dad. Neither can my dad. So that's a pretty good problem for most people. So first of all, you're obviously going to want to take the frame off of off and little hinge, little hinge, pull, and it's off. You're not gonna be needing this part for now. So I don't know if you could see this. Yeah, you can. So this um. There, I took these screws out, so there's a screw, one, two, three, four, four screws. They're little tiny screws. They're going to need a screwdriver, like that, um, that fits those screws. So, do all that. Oh, wait. Pause the video. Okay, you're back. Um, so, once you've gotten this off, you can see this has two sides. One kind of cupped side, I don't know if you could see that, and then one side that's flat. So this is the top side, not that. This is the bottom side. So put that down. Then you're going to see this. It's okay if your trigger goes like that, that's normal. It's normal. So then you see this right here. You see the spring. It can just fly out like that. That's fine. That's normal. So in there, you just take that out. Um, this is a gasket. If you wanted to know, I'm just saying. And to lighten your trigger pull, you're not just gonna take the spring out, cause then your your trigger's useless. I mean, it won't work. So now. You are going to, also this is your safety, you could pull that out, that'll become loose, but, you know, you don't need to for this video. So, you are going to need a spring from a pen. Yep, just from a pen, I grabbed it from this pen. It works perfectly fine. Here it is. This is it. And let me set this down. You can see there's a pretty big difference. Oop. There's a pretty big difference. One spring is longer and one spring is shorter. The short spring, that takes, look, I'm really trying to. This long spring, look. Oh, and I just lost it. Um, and I got it. Okay. <laughs> um, it fell under my desk. So you're gonna get this spring. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna point to it with my screwdriver. Right here. This little brick thing. That, this spring, the stock spring was sitting on that. So, you're going to want to take this spring from your pen. Obviously, find a pen first with the spring in it. And you are going to want to put it on that. And it should look just like that. Pull the spring. That spring, I mean, pull the trigger that that um, spring moves with that trigger. So, 
should look just like this. Now, you could put this on. Remember, the cup side goes down. The one with the indent goes down. So you want to cup that, put that cup on the spring, make sure it goes on the spring, and push down. It's a spring that's going to be pushing up, so you need to push down when you put your screws in. Um, and you could test it. Right now, you could put the body on without any screws on it. Um, and look at that. A lot lighter. You could, you could rewind into the video and see how, how much force it took. Look at that. You know what? I can show you right now. Look. Oh, it's on the wrong way. That is much more lighter than the stock spring it comes with. See that? Like I'm really trying. And then the pen spring. This obviously is going to be used more for the EMAC because the ether you just need to pull if you have it on PSP um, or if you're keeping it on NXO you might want to do this but if you have fast enough fingers you won't need to um hold on um but yeah so it's mostly going to be done on the Emac because it's mechanical. You need to shoot. You need to pull. You need your finger to be fast so you can pull the trigger fast. Obviously, duh. Uh, <laughs> um. And this dumb magnetic. I have a magnetic screw and it's messing screwdriver and it's messing everything up. Okay. So like I said, it's mostly gonna be done on the. Emac, but if you want to do it on the Ether 2, um, you can if your fingers are not fast enough and you're, you're too lazy to, to put the, uh, to take off the eye covers, press the button and change the different firing modes. I would definitely recommend the for the for the Ether two. Uh, also, if you want a trigger that you can adjust, um, you can get the infamous trigger that they sell for the Ether two. I mean, for the Emac. And if you want a trigger for your Ether 2, you can go to ansq.com. They have like everything. And yeah, there you go. A lot faster. Well, let me put this on. That's a lot faster than normal, right? Yeah, so this, you wanna put the extra spring in your spare parts bag that comes with your EMAC. And yeah, that's about it. I'm just putting in the other screws to put the body in. And yeah, that's it. So thank you for watching and oh, I forgot to say, if your Ether 2, I mean, if your EMAC isn't firing, if your EMAC isn't actually firing, it might be because the spring is too loose and it's not putting any real pressure. You can see, you can press it, it returns back like, like normal, like a normal.
they should. But if it's too weak, it probably will not return uh, the trigger. And it'll just be a really loose trigger. And it won't be as high quality as a trigger with the spring from a pen in it. <laughs> Sounds a little weird. But yeah, that's just the truth. Um, so I hope you like this video. Um, hope you enjoyed and leave a like. That would help a lot. And subscribe. Um, thank you. I'm going to try to post more videos more often and get more information for you. Give more information to you guys. Um, thank you, and then that's it. Bye.